Senator, you were one of the few out there warning, seeing the evidence that was coming in that this, in fact, came out of this lab. It made sense from the beginning, and they lied about it. They covered it up. Well, Sean, that's exactly right. As I sit here and listen to those uh, folks on TV and, and read those headlines, it, it makes me angry because they're lying. They're deliberately lying. They knew they were lying. They are repeating the talking points of the Chinese communist government. Democratic politicians were doing that, and the corporate media was doing that. It has been evidence. The overwhelming weight of the evidence for, for over two years now has been that this virus escaped from a Chinese government lab. And what's happened this weekend is we now have the bombshell report that not one but two agencies in the Biden administration have concluded the coronavirus came, the COVID-19 virus came from a Chinese government lab. Number one, the Biden FBI has concluded that. And number two, this weekend, we learned their reports that the Biden Energy Department has concluded COVID-19 came from a Chinese government lab. Now, I can tell you more than two years ago, in, in March and April of 2020, on my podcast, Verdict with Ted Cruz, that we put out every week, I laid out the evidence then that it was obvious this came from a Chinese government lab. Let me point to three facts that are compelling. Number one, the Wuhan Institute for Virology, which studies not just viruses, studies coronaviruses, not just coronaviruses, coronaviruses derived from bats is located just a couple hundred yards from the wet market where this outbreak first occurred in Wuhan, China. By the way, those bats don't occur naturally in China, any closer than 900 miles away, and yet a few hundred yards from the lab, that's where the, the, the outbreak occurred. Data point number two. In November of 2019, before the pandemic, three separate researchers at the Wuhan Institute for Virology were hospitalized, went and checked themselves in for serious ailments, ailments that suggest that they may have been the very first people with COVID-19. In fact, that might have been how it escaped. Fact number three, after the pandemic began, the Chinese government actively destroyed the samples at the Wuhan Institute for Virology, destroyed them, and they also disappeared the whistleblowers. Now, I'll tell you, in a court of law, if you're facing a subpoena and you go and destroy evidence, you can be held liable for that. But not only that, the judge will instruct the jury to draw an inference against you that if you're destroying evidence, it's because the evidence demonstrates your guilt. In this instance, the fact that China's first reaction was get rid of all the evidence shows that they knew, they covered it up. China bears the responsibility and the entire corporate media, media, CNN, MSNBC, all of the alphabet soup, the Washington Post, the New York Times, not only did they not cover this, they eagerly repeated the Democrat talking points and the talking points from the Chinese communist government. It was dishonest and, and profoundly corrupt. Senator, we know that China lied. We know that we fund the WHO. We give them yes. a fortune, millions and millions of dollars. They lied. Uh, we know that our own government got it wrong about masks. We know they got it wrong about vaccines. Everything they turn, told us turned out not to be true. Yeah. How could we ever trust them again? Look, Sean, that, that is a huge problem. You know, you look at Dr. Fauci. There is no bureaucrat in the history of our country who has done more damage to the United States than Dr. Anthony Fauci. Number one, his recommendations resulted in shutdowns that hurt tens of millions of kids, destroyed millions of jobs, millions of small businesses. And his willingness to set aside science, to set aside data, and to be purely political, there has been nothing in our lifetimes that has done more to damage the credibility of government scientists or doctors than Dr. Anthony Fauci. There are now tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of Americans that are not gonna believe the next thing a scientist or doctor working for the government says. And that's dangerous. If God forbid we have another pandemic, let's say we have something like Ebola that has massively high fatality rates. I want us to be able to have scientists and doctors that can give us advice on how to keep our families safe. And yet Fauci was so willing to listen to the teachers union, so willing to listen to the Biden White House, so willing to put politics above science, 
that he has done enormous damage to the credibility of, of, of the government doctors. I, I think that's an incredible disservice to the country. Senator, a very powerful statement. Um, I, I can't say it any better. Senator Ted Cruz, thank you.